So this is the Protocol 781A, the new skin bundle. Obviously, we're going to review it. And let me say the gun selection is so good. Literally one of the best gun selections, or at least to me, in quite a while. So we're always going to start with the pistol. In this case, we got the Protocol Sheriff. This is the standard fully upgraded version. Black, silver, a lot of formations and details with obviously the lighting effects. The whole vibe is the mechatronic, future robotic type of thing. It's going to be extremely personalized. I don't think it'll be timeless like the Prime or Reaver, but if you like the futuristic, you like the robotic, I think this is cool. Like, you know, I think it has a spot in Valorant and it definitely has an audience. Now, the best variation to me is level two. This one looks a little weird. And the third one is this military high grade futuristic design, if that's what you're into. Now, my personal take is they look pretty good. They look decent. I like them and I'm not a big fan of the whole mech thing. You know, it's kind of like the KO skin line. So if you are a fan, I think you're going to love them. Now, obviously, that's the finisher and let's let's give credit where credit's due. It looks absolutely beautiful. This is the gun sound right here. This is how it looks when you inspect it. Very high pitch futuristic gun noises. Obviously sounds very clean. I love the way the gun actually sounds. Now, Riot, you know, they, they continue on their milking journey. There's a level 5 for 10x Iridianite that adds a vocalized voiceover on inspect and kills. Routine inspections required. Thank you for your compliance. Effective. Dispatched. Valid exchange. Protocol appreciates your continued compliance. Now, um, I, uh, I think they're nasty. I do not like the vocalized voiceovers. I think they're very distracting. Sometimes there is a agent voiceover when you get a kill, but it's not that prominent. So I don't like it, and I have a huge problem. I can't get to my variants without the vocalized level 5. Not happy with that at all. That kind of ruins the skin bundle to me personally, but if you like the voiceovers, I guess it's going to be a banger for you, but uh, I don't know. Really don't know how to feel about it. They're, they're, they're truly not my favorite. Now, quickly going over the variants in the game, they look fantastic. Like, I love this variant too. Variant 3, by the way, goes amazing with Yoru. Not my favorite color, color scheme, but still looks solid. And even the military one in-game looks cool. Like, I like the variants a lot. I, I would say the variants are all pretty good, especially the second one. It's really, really nice. Now, next we got the Phantom, and honestly, it looks really, really good. I like the basic design. A little bit plain in my eyes. The second variant to me looks clean. Like, I, I really like the second variant. I'll keep reiterating that. I think the third variant also looks pretty good with the Phantom. And we got, again, the military style. I, mean, I keep saying military, but it's just the military green, right? It's still not military. That's maybe wrong. I don't know how to exactly describe it. It looks pretty cool, though, nonetheless. Of course, we'll take a look at them in-game now. Usually, I like to zoom in, show all the details, but usually, it's kind of the body shape that has the details here. And the Phantom, I'm not going to lie. Man, most of us agree the Phantom sounds amazing. Just take a listen. So, you know, be between how it sounds, how you inspect it like that with the one hand and it being rebuilt and the reload animation being unique, it's obviously a top tier skin line. We do not know the price yet, at least at the time of recording this. Um, and we're going to look in game at the other variations. Love variation number two. Looks absolutely fantastic. I think they all look really, really nice. And I think they just, they all pop out in their own unique way. Like... I think it's one of those skin lines, I actually have to redo this, this is my second time doing this video because after playing with it, uh, as I was testing out episode 4 on the test client, they grew on me more. When I first made it, I wasn't as sure about the skin line, but at this point, I think they're quite solid. The Spectre doesn't hold up any less, it looks absolutely fantastic, and this is when I actually realized that changing the variants also changes the voiceover you get. Now. I did not roll back on me not liking the voiceovers. I still don't like them at all, but take a listen to how the variants change the voice. Your vital signs are adequate. Deviation from protocol will not be tolerated. Eliminated. 
Deviation from protocol will not be tolerated. Hostile down. So obviously, while I still don't like the vocalized stuff at all, per personally, I still gotta say, it's cool. The Spectre also sounds nice, pull automation is beautiful, the Inspect is beautiful, like this, this is where it keeps up, like, you know, everything here keeps up with it being a very high quality, high priced skin line. I don't know the price yet, but it's most likely 8700 if I were to guess, but, you know, who, who, who knows 100%. There's a lot going for it, and again, if you like the mech, you're probably at this point already very, very hyped. Now, this is where I get hyped. A bulldog. A premium bulldog. I am so happy that there is a premium bulldog. Even if I decide not to buy the skin collection, I'll most likely buy this bulldog since I still already do like it, and I kind of need a premium bulldog. I'm so happy that they added another bulldog after the Spectrum one, which was the Z one, and it looks really cool. The way you pull it out with one hand... Just got quiet there for a second for you to listen to it. I think it sounds and looks fantastic. Great heavy machinery in the sound there, which is what I really, really like. Again, great attention to detail. Bam. Variant 2. I absolutely adore Variant 2. Just looks so, so good. Variant 3 looks a little weird on the Bulldog, even though I didn't mind it on the other. Same thing with the green. This one looks like a Halo gun to me, but... You know, actually, yeah, they're kind of like Halo weapons, aren't they? Unit fully functional. Again, the different voiceovers, and this is how they look in-game real quick. This one's my least favorite. Yeah, this one looks a little weird to me. <laughs> I don't know, this one looks odd. It matches KO, I guess, kind of. Matches Yoru really well. And the final one's the military here in-game. A Centuria 4 security enterprise. And while there's not much details in the guns themselves, a lot of body shapes, curves, different sharp angles to give it that futuristic look. In terms of visual effects, it's really just the light lines. Now, last but not least is the knife. Now, the knife has something quite interesting going for it. So, obviously, it looks really, really cool. I'm so happy that there's just a standard knife back into the game. We got an axes. We got, like, mage punk things. We got katanas. We got everything. It's been so long since we had a normal knife, but... It's not a crambit, it's not a butterfly knife, but they kept it unique. So when you inspect, it closes up and rebuilds itself back up. When you attack, you flip it, and now you're holding it in the opposite direction. So you can hold the knife in two ways, right? It's still the standard knife, but you get to hold it in two ways with a lot of added animations in between, making the entire standard knife have a much needed refresh on its feel. I love it. This color looks amazing, like I really do, did enjoy this knife. When I equipped this knife and I used it during the entire gameplay session, it, it truly grew on me. I think it felt really natural, really clean, not too intrusive, but just the animations, like, hard to explain, but the feel of this knife was really there. Now I still don't like the voiceover very much, hopefully I can just mute it in the settings because this bundle is a possible cop for me, but more objectively speaking, as a bundle, in its entirely, is it going to be worth it? Now, if it's 8700 or 7100, then technically, yes. I mean, we got in a ton of effects. We got reload effects. We got inspect effects. The knife is the standard knife, but with unique animations, ones we have never seen before, which is absolutely huge. You got tons of variations, and all the variations are pretty solid, in my opinion. And it's really just going to be based off of one opinion barrier. Do you like the mech robotic future type thing? If yes, then yeah, it's a cop. It's a really solid bundle, and I think it's a strong way to enter episode four. And let's not forget, it is the first bundle of 2022. However, huge disclaimer, we do not know the actual price of the bundle. And there's a little rumor saying it'd be, it might be 9,900 VP. Now, if that's the case, you got diminishing returns happening here, considering how much Radiantite you need to spend. So you're going to have to absolutely love the whole mech style in order to cop it but let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one